Hey everyone, it's the 4th, and it's been another month, so uh, I'm going to play one of my songs this time, but here's a quick update from my family first. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, you guys probably don't know who I am, unless you've watched my YouTube video, you know, Chinese 101, you're one of 94 people maybe then, but, so you probably haven't watched it, so you have no clue who I am. Um, I'm Garrison's older brother, Aaron. And, uh, I guess a little bit about me, you know, I love Garrison's music. He's awesome. <laughs> um, I don't play anything at all. I used to play piano forever ago. But Garrison did learn to play, play guitar on my guitar, which I still don't know how to play. <laughs> um, anyways, enough about me. So this month, we're going to do things a little differently. We're actually going to give you the update after the video. Um, and we'll also announce the winners of the cover contest. Woohoo covers! We had some good covers. It was awesome. So, as everybody knows, Garrison is amazing-tastic at music. He's, you know, he's awesome. He does lots of cool stuff. I wish I had, like, a tenth of his musical talent. And normally, when he learns a new song, or just, you know, is going to record a song, he practices it one time, two times, Three times if it's, you know, an incredibly t challenging song normally. But sometimes he just has an off day. And... <laughs> it can get kind of funny. <laughs> and, uh... Anyways, well... And it's, re it's really, really funny. Particularly when it's his own song that he's re trying to relearn to record again. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. Anyways, well, if, if you... If you just keep watching, you'll see what I mean. It's pretty funny. Alright, so uh, this song, as I said before, is going to be one of my songs. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know this one. Um, if you haven't heard it, you should go check it out, because I, I personally, I really like it. And um, you should also check out the awesome uh, PMV that uh, Grayfur did uh, for this song. This is Giggles and Gumdrops. The PMV also won an award at uh, Everfree Northwest. It got first place uh, so uh, for PMV of the year. Hey everyone, it's been another month. It's the fourth, and this time I'm going to play one of my songs. But her, but do uh, start over. So, updating Get my shoes, and then we're going. That was good. Sometimes oh, I was so I was so close to remembering them. I was <clears throat> I was so close. Okay, let's do it again. I didn't like my singing anyways. She may be hard to talk to, but she's never shy. Okay, uh, so close this time. Okay, here we go. At least I like this song, you know. <laughs> Here we 
we go. She's got a way of knowing what's on her mind. She can't be. <laughs> it's just so many words in the song. Oh my gosh. Do you want to go to Three's a Team? Nah, I'll get through this. I'll get through this, right? Never ever understand why. She's made of chaos and cupcakes. Sugar and sunshine, sugar and sunshine, lollipops and laughter. Dang it! Yeah. She's made of chaos and cupcakes, lots and lots of batter. Sugar and sunshine, lollipops and laughter. I'm going to get this one. She really can't explain it, so she leaves you blind. It feels. I know. Do you ever wonder why she... Okay. You're getting tired. Get off. Why did I have to write so many different words for the song? Sugar and 
Lots and lots of batter, sugar and sunshine, lollipops and laughter. See for yourself, but you'll never get it. Don't even try. Thanks for listening. <laughs> anyway, so in music, in music news this month, we think that Otherwise, featuring Jackson, will be on the Balloon Party album. Submissions close on November 15th for that. Link is in the description down below. Down there, somewhere. Yeah. Um, also, Garrison worked with Luna Jax to create the instrumental track for a song "Back to You." All right, so now we've got uh, we got the cover contest. So first of all, we'd like to thank everybody who participated. Um, we got a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, the Ferb Guy, the Fancy Trotters, L Train, Fire Frets, T S I C C M, Fritzy Beat, Luna Jax. Star Breeze, T Mega Fifty Six Twelve, Ganondorf Champion, Teco Pony, and Sights Unseen for their work on their covers. You know that's really awesome. Garris is going to be super happy with all these, um, and he's going to be super surprised at Christmas. It's going to be great. So we've got two covers. Uh, we've got two categories of covers that we want to want to go over. So we have the the full cover category and we have the vocal cover category all right so to start off with we'll go over the full cover <sighs> starting at uh, at number four because there was actually four four uh, songs in this category that we wanted to highlight all right that were pretty awesome four uh, chant of immortality by the uh, men's choir from James Clements Hill School did a fantastic job on a very difficult song to cover um, the camera that they used doesn't do them justice. Uh, the, the performance was excellent in getting you know so many people to uh, to uh, participate in a live live audience. That was great. Number three, Flutter by T S I C C M. It was a good uh, it was a good rock uh, take on on the pop tune. It was awesome. Now, the final two were really really close. Final two were really close, and we had a really hard time deciding which one was was first and second. It was we we thought about splitting it up and you know doing half and half with the prize, but we felt like that would be a cheese out. No, we we didn't want to do that. <laughs> we kind of a cop out, so we made the hard decision. And uh, so number two is "Chasing Fate" by Fire Frets. Really, really amazing cover. We we listened to this. We like that. Wow, we were blown away. A um, lot of a uh, lot of instruments. It was very difficult to pull off. Very complex. Outstanding vocals and great guitar work. And first place goes to 
Drum roll, please. Reality by the L Train. We found his guitar work flawless, and his vocals were really well done, and the mixing was just, just superb. It was great. A really beautiful take on a piano ballad that was added to the pink side of the moon because it fit the theme perfectly, but was actually the working title for a while was Gar for Garrison's second album, which we eventually named Reflections. Yeah. So, congratulations, L Train. That was awesome. And to everybody else as well. So, so that was the full cover. The vocal cover section, we have three songs that we want to highlight for you. We have the third, number three, Bird Song by Starbreeze. Love the vocal embellishments and multiple vocal tracks on it. It was really good. And once again, the last two were super difficult to choose from. It was, it was hard. Um, and uh, again, we, we almost almost decided to, to split it and call it a tie, but again, we, we didn't want to do that. So the second one, number two, is Chant of Immortality by Luna Jax. Again, a super hard song to cover, and it was pulled off really, really well. The video got extra style points for great visuals. And the Luna Jacks theme plus the world rotation and the flashes for the vocal delivery were really well done. So really cool video. Um, all in all. Very, very good. And the, uh, the number one song. Number one song is Giggles and Gumdrops by Fritzy B. It, great vocals. Flawless mixing. Great video. It was just gave him, gave him the edge just barely. And again, a really, really close contest. So yeah, congratulations to, to you guys. Excellent, excellent job. Um, really, really well done. All right, so update from Garrison. We still unfortunately haven't been able to get any pictures from him yet or any more pictures, but we did find some pictures of the street he lives on. <laughs> so that's kind of neat. Um, also some excerpts from his emails, We've got a few little things he wrote here, it says We have this thing here called a chora pen, which is amazing. It's like a hot dog, but cut in half, filled with a couple things, and put onto bread. And let me tell you, the bread down here is way better. A lot different. But the most common bread here is just about the best. I wish I could send you some. I wish he could send me some too. <laughs> Sounds yummy. We asked him if he celebrated Halloween, or if they celebrated Halloween in Argentina. He says, no, they don't celebrate Halloween down here in Argentina. No trick-or-treating for him. How sad. And he also, uh, oh, I asked him about you know, what a normal preparation day is like. And he says, uh, on our preparation day, or P-Day, that's what they call it, it's uh, on Mondays, he says, we wake up, eat, have personal and companionship study, and then we go buy the necessities, essentially food. After lunch, we clean the pension, which is like their apartment, I guess. Then we head over to a member who washes our clothes for us. After that, we have a little free time to do, this, to do some fun things, like recording or something. At about 4.30, we head over to the cyber, the place that has computers. I guess that'd be like a cyber cafe. We then have an, an hour and a half to type like there's no tomorrow. After that, preparation time ends and we have normal visits. So, sounds like he's doing well, having a blast down there. Sounds like he's doing really good and really enjoying himself. He did also send us a few songs. Um, we wanted to share one with you here. Uh, we really hope you enjoy it. We enjoyed it when we heard it. It was a pretty fun song. Garrison calls it, uh, I'm going to read it to make sure I get it right. <laughs> I'm trapped inside the body of a cat, but nobody believes me. It was written by him and his companion, uh, Elder McLean. And yeah, again, hope you enjoy it. And uh, thank you guys for sticking with Garrison, and have a good day.
Trapped inside the body of a cat But nobody believes me Allow me to clarify my reasoning I'll tell you why Cause no one seems to care when I walk in Tell me, have you ever had a conversation with a cat? Maybe you're just crazy I'm surprised you can understand me now And that's not normal Meow, meow at all, but it sure wasn't me. No, at night I dream of stuff I didn't used to dream of, like why the heck does tuna seem so appetizing now? I will have you know that things weren't always like they are. I bet no one's ever been someone else when they got out of bed.